Hey, this is Mr. Barr, and I'm going to graph a two-variable linear inequality with you today. So here's our first one. Our graph is, let's see, y is less than 7. So if I come over here and I go y, just pretend like it's an equation. Start with y equals 7. Graph that. Well, that's right here. Now, think about your line type, and the line type is going to be dashed because it's just a less than. There we go. And now we need to test a point. We have to test 0, 0. So let's see if I put a 0 right here. 0 is less than 7. Is that true or false? 0 is less than 7. Well, that's true. That means this point right here is true, which means everything under the line is true. There we go. Let's graph this one. I'm going to pretend like it's just x equals 2. And I'm going to graph that. x equals 2 is right here. This is a vertical line. Think about your line type. Line type is dashed. Now I'm going to test 0, 0 and see if it works. 0 is greater than 2. Is that true or false? 0 is greater than 2. That's false. That means this point is false, which means everything on this side is false which means everything on this side is true. I'm going to shade the true area. It means all of the points over here work in this inequality. This one is in slope-intercept form. It's y is greater than or equal to negative 2 over 1x plus 0. There's the intercept. There's the rise. There's the run. Let's graph this. I start at 0. I go down 2 over 1. My line type is solid. This is correct. Notice I can't use 0, 0 here, so I'm going to use 1, 1. So is 1 greater than or equal to negative 2 times 1? Is 1 greater than or equal to negative 2? That's true. So the point 1, 1 right here is true, which means everything on this side is true which means this side is false. So um, I didn't even have to go that far. This is the true side. Every point over here is going to work in that inequality. All right, next one. I have y is less than or equal to 4 over 1x plus 0. I'm just really making it look like slope-intercept form. Starting at 0, going up 1, 2, 3, 4 over 1. It's a solid line. I can't use 0, 0 because it's on the line, but I'm going to test 1, 1. So let's test it. 1 is less than or equal to 4 times 1 plus 0. 1 is less than or equal to 4. Is that true or false? That's true, which means 1, 1 is true, which means this entire side is true. All right, this guy, he looks like slope intercept. He's has all his parts, so I'm going to start at 6. I'm going to go down 3 and over 1. Line type is dashed. Now I have to test a point. I'm going to test 0, 0. 0 is less than 0 plus 6. 0 is less than 6. That is true. 0, 0 is the true point, which means everything over here is true. y is greater than negative 5x plus 4. That's already ready to go. It's in slope-intercept form. So I'm going to start with a 4, go down 5, over 1. Line type is dashed. Let's test 0, 0. 0 is greater than 0 plus 4. 0 is greater than 4. That is false. 0, 0 is false. Everything over here is false which means everything over here is true. And my line type was dashed. Good. Another one in slope-intercept form. y is greater than or equal to negative 3x minus 4. Starting at negative 4, going down 3, 1, 2, 3, over 1. Line type is solid. That looks good. Let's test 0, 0. 0 is greater than or equal to 0 minus 4. 0 is greater than or equal to negative 4. That is true. 0, 0 is true, which means everything over here is true. 
Once again, we're in slope-intercept form. y is less than or equal to 5x plus 2. Starting at 2, going up 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, over 1. It is a solid line, so that's good. Let's test 0, 0. 0 is less than or equal to 0 plus 2. 0 is less than or equal to 2. That is true. Point zero zero is true, so everything over here is true. Another one in slope-intercept form. Y is less than negative 5x plus 4. Starting at negative 4, going down 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 over 1. Is that the right line? And it is dashed. I know that because it's just less than. And let's figure out the shading at 0, 0. 0 is less than 0 plus 4. 0 is less than 4. That's true. 0, 0 is true, so everything over here is true. Line type is dashed. Well, that looks good. Ooh, I lost it. Sorry, the correct answer is this. Did I graph it incorrectly? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 over 1. What did I do? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 over 1. How did I lose it? Sorry, the correct answer is shade under and I shaded over. Where did I? Oh, I, do you see where I lost it? It's right here. It's right there. I put it down as a negative. I graphed it correctly, but when I wrote it here, I had it as a positive 4, and it's actually a negative 4 in the problem. Ugh. Oh, my goodness. Okay. That should be a little bit encouraging for you that even Mr. Barr makes mistakes. Where am I at on my smart score? 54? Okay. Seven minutes into it, I'm at 54. Let's do another one. I want to get to some that are in standard form. Okay, got it, got it, got it. All right, so I'm going to start at 5, go down 5 over 1, solid line. Let's test 0, 0. 0 is greater than or equal to 0 plus 5. 0 is greater than 5 is false. 0, 0 is false. Everything over here is false, which means everything over there is true. I'm going to start at negative 1, go up 5 over 1, dashed line. Let's test it with... We can use 0, 0. 0 is greater than 0 minus 1. 0 is greater than negative 1. That is true. 0, 0 is true, which means everything over here is true. Let's see. Starting at 2, going down 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 over 1. That looks good. It's a dashed line. Testing 0, 0. 0 is less than... 0 plus 2, 0 is less than 2, that is true. 0, 0 is true, which means everything over here is true. Nice, okay, now we're finally into one that is a little bit different. So I have 2x plus y is less than or equal to negative 6. Now, you have two ways of doing this. Many equations will work. I can go 2x equals negative 6, and y equals negative 6, so x equals negative 3, and y equals negative 6. So I can graph it using the intercepts. That'll work. So x equals negative 3, and y equals negative 6. There's the line. Is there another way to graph this? Yes. I can move the x and divide by the y. So that would be y is less than negative 2x minus 6. Does that work? Yes. It says to start at negative 6 and go down 2 over 1. So it's the exact same line. Either way. Uh, sometimes you're going to have to do the move the x divide by the y. It's the only way to graph it on IXL. But 
On this one, I could just do mini equations. Now let's figure out our shading. Let's plug in 0, 0. 0 plus 0 is less than negative 6. 0 is less than or equal to negative 6. Is 0 less than negative 6? No. 0, 0 is false, which means everything over here is false, which means everything over here is true. All right, and this is going to be my last one. So this one, intercepts aren't going to work, and here's why. 5x plus y is greater than negative 3. If I did 5x equals negative 3, is this going to give me a point that I can graph? x equals negative 3 fifths. I can't do that on IXL. So this is going to require me to move the x. So here we go, moving the x. Divide by the y, so y is greater than negative 5x minus 3. So let's graph it like that. Negative 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And now I'm going to... Let's see, line type is dashed. And let's test 0, 0. So I'm going to test it in the original equation. So I have 5x plus y is greater than negative 3. 0 plus 0 is greater than negative 3. 0 is greater than negative 3. And that gives me a true. No, 0 is greater than negative 3 is false. This is false, which means the other side is true. And that's it. Submitting that. I got it wrong. Did I shade the wrong side? I did, and that's because somebody's knocking on my door. That's it. See you later. Bye.